So, Minister, thank you for being with us today. And we've been talking to a variety of people in the community, and we've talked to people in the business sector. And at this point, want to know what initiatives are underway in the public sector addressing this national problem of crime? I think you'll appreciate that um, over the years, the Minister of National Security, with the support of the Prime Minister and Cabinet, have in fact put on quite a few initiatives. Certainly, during the course of last year, we instituted the ZOSO, which is the Zones of Special Operation. And we started out with one in Mount Salem, in Montegabe, and then later in the year we did um, Denham Town. Both ZOSAs have been real successes. We have had very little incidents, complaints, no murders have been committed in either of these zones, and to the best of my knowledge, no evidence of shooting or conflicts. So within those ZOSAs, we did well. Unfortunately, across St. James and in several other inner city communities across Jamaica, we have had flare-ups, and these flare-ups tend to be gang-related. So the real challenge the government has is how to really do the necessary intelligence to find the gangs and to dismantle them. 90% of the murders committed in Jamaica over the past several years are gang-related or domestic um, um, killings, so that the targets, the victims, are well known to the offenders. And sadly, perhaps as much as 50% are reprisals. So once a member of a gang is killed, then that gang takes reprisal. And oftentimes when they can't find the killer, they go for the killer's family or families of the other the gang members. And that occurs, then they, that gang where the family member is hurt, no, it doesn't go for a gang member. They actually go for a family member. So innocent, or innocent family members are being brought into the mix. But the truth of the matter is that most of these gangs and killings are fairly geographic. They do take place occasionally in the other areas, maybe in the public thoroughfares, because they chase down the gang members on the main thoroughfare. But a lot of them are actually in geographically defined zones, especially in the inner city communities. The interesting thing in Jamaica is that over the past two years, crimes have trended down but shootings and murders have increased. So the effect is that the crime plan in terms of control and criminality across Jamaica is working, save and except for gang-related and domestic killings. Would you say that the crime-related, uh, the gang-related crime and murders is a turf war or some other kind of friction that's going on in the community? It's both. Turf war in the sense that in many communities, especially in the Spanish town, Maypen, Kingston area, it's an extortion racket. So that the gangs feel that they should control the turf, maybe a bus terminal, and they extort from, from the bus drivers and from the businesses and also persons doing operations or business transactions in these areas so that they protect or they try to control that area to extort from legitimate businesses and also from uh, tour operators or from the various um, bus drivers and conductors. But there are also areas in the western part of Jamaica where they're fighting over scamming money. Scamming has been or had been and probably still is a major source of income for a number of these unattached young persons, quite bright. They're able to hoodwink and take money from rich American old people, and they collect hundreds of thousands of US dollars. And having recovered these sums, they fight 
over the distribution and sharing of these proceeds. So the gang warfare in Western Jamaica in Westmoreland, Hanover and St. James <coughs> are related to many internecine gang warfare over illicit gains. <coughs> This seems they have the features of what we call elsewhere organized crime. Are the gangs nationwide or are they geographically based uh, within uh, local areas? No, uh, mainly geographic based. <coughs> we have identified perhaps about 240 gangs and <coughs> to the best of my knowledge there's no umbrella group for them. So yes they may know one another. The intelligence suggests that they may have cooperation but it seems to me that it's more geographic than anything else.